You've taken a hundred of the photos from your last project and you only care about maybe five of them. All the other photos are just taking up space in your hard drive. How do we fix that? Hop into Lightroom with me and I'm gonna show you a quick little trick on how to save a lot of disk space and just focus on the photos that you really care about. Here's an apartment that I shot. I shot it in HDR, which means I took three photos to condense it down into one photo. So I have to discard a lot of the photos that I don't actually need anymore. So what I've done is the photos they actually care about, I starred it with the star two. Now you can choose how you wanna rate your photos. You can use colored, you can use one star, two star, it doesn't really matter. Now, when you've done that, you wanna check it. From my selection, there's only 15 that I really need and care about. And if I ever need to come back to, they're here. Now what I need to do is go to the edit tab and select all. This will select all the photos that you actually care about. Now head on over back to your custom filter and uncheck it. As you can see, only the photos that you've actually started are selected. Now what you wanna do is go over back to edit and invert selection. Now you've inverted the selection. Everything that's inverted is the photos you actually wanna discard, you wanna get rid of. You don't actually care about those anymore. So now you wanna head over to one of the photos you don't want anymore and hit delete from disk. This will take all the photos that you selected and put into the trash can. If you wanna reverse your decision, you can empty the trash can and put all the photos back. But once you delete it from the trash can, it is gone. So make sure that whatever project it is, whatever the context of the project is, make sure that these photos you don't need anymore, you really don't need anymore. The reason why I like to do this is because I like to do a lot of street photography. A lot of the photos that I take I might only be using one or two of them. Maybe from a selection out of 100, I'm only gonna select five. So I have shown this to a lot of people in my own personal life and they're always mind blown. So I'm hoping that maybe this will help someone out there. If you know anyone, share it with them. If you liked the video and you learned something, give it a like and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.